Hey folks, what's up? You know, that's one thing I'm pretty sure if you're a long time fan of this show, Sat AM. One thing that you've always wondered about the second season, most importantly, is why there are two episodes that are sort of like the wild card episodes of the series, of the overall series. Some people want to know why they're the wild cards. Why they're so different among the other episodes. I mean, you have 26 episodes in total, and out of those 26, you have two that are sort of like the odd, the odd ones of the bunch, if you will, the unique ones of the bunch, the ones that are like, make you scratch your head, the scratch your head and wonder why. And of course, you probably know what episodes I'm talking about. Odd couple, that our couple, Rebecca, and even before that, fed up with Antoine, Ghostbusted. Now, there's a lot of people, well, not a lot of people, but there are some fans out there, fans of the show, fans of, newer fans of the show that have gotten into it in the past few years and all that, if not the past decade, and they're always, kept, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people keep wondering why these two episodes stand out, uh, the stand out. Of, the, of all the episodes, why they stand out so differently. I mean, Rasitsu, Rasitsu, Danielle, if you will, um, when she did her retrospective on all three Sonic series and she got to Sat AM, she basically said that you could take these episodes out of the continue, out of the lineup of episodes, out of the 26 episode lineup. And just with the 24 you'd have left over, nothing would be missed. Nothing would be out of place. But because these are there, it just kind of feels a little out of place for, for fans. But here's why. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably know the answer by now. But for those that don't, here's why this happened. You see, the first season, even though it did have its humorous moments, there's no doubt about that. The pilot episode is a good example. Um, one thing some people said about it, according to several rumors, was that one of the complaints, you know, that they got was it was too dark. It was, now, these are just rumors from what I've read online, but some complaints that they got were it was too dark, uh, characters were not being portrayed they should, the way they should be, and, you know, a, a, just a few other things. You know, you know what I'm saying? So basically, what they did, according to these rumors in this following season, was they had to kind of make certain things with certain characters match up to what they were elsewhere. Basically, how they were seen elsewhere. In this case, like Sonic, Tails, and Robotnik, you had to kind of blend in a bit, just a bit of what you had in the games into what you would see on the cartoon. Now, another thing about, now, another, now, how does this play in to those two episodes? Well, I'll tell you how it plays in. It plays in due to the fact that one, according to a rumor, one of the things that needed to be done was the series needed to be lightened up in tone. One of the things that made, I guess, adventures, and some people would probably see it, a bit of a favorite with maybe Sega in some ways was because not only was it close to the games in certain times, but Adventures was very humorous. It was funny, it portrayed the villain the way he should be portrayed, if not a bit goofier than that, and just kept it kind of lighthearted and humorous. Now, from what I understand, that's exactly why the second season was, even though it was a blend, even though it was kind of like a 50-50 deal, like it was 50% dark, 50% light, well actually not that, more like 75-25 if you will, 75% dark, 25% light. The reason it was like that in the second season is because they wanted it to be balanced out, or at least kind of balanced out to the point that, okay, you're going to have your serious moments and your dramatic moments and your 
memorable moments and all that. But you also have to have some lightheartedness. You need to have some funniness. You need to have more comedic, humorous situations. And again, not saying the first season didn't have those at times. They did. Like, say, in Supersonic, where Sally goes into the, into the warehouse to get what she needs for Nicole, Swapbot, you know, she gets spotted by a Swapbot, and then the, the alarm goes off, and her hair is like, ah! You know, her hair just stands up like that, like, ah, I hate when they do that kind of deal. That was a funny moment. And then Antoine, of course, get, losing his lunch in Secret Scrolls after they land, thanks to Sonic, on, uh, on that, uh, on, on, on Magna, if you will. A Magna, whatever you want to call it. They had, again, season one had its moments. See, this pilot, like I said, being a good example, most of a good example. Uh, but again, the second season, in a way, 20, in a way, mo a majority of the darkness, basically 25 to maybe 50 percent of it, had to be toned down and lightened up a little bit, and that's why you had the inclusion of these two episodes, which together included two 11-minute shorts each, because it was supposed to add into the humor and the lightheartedness and the comedic that um, I guess in a way was from what I understand like I said through the rumors was asked to be done because like I said the first season was it, like I said it had its moments but maybe it was just a little too dark and wasn't really light hearted that's why you had the inclusions of the shorts fed up with Antoine Ghost Busted Odd Couple and Rebecca now, again, like my friend Raisutsu said, you could take these episodes out and nothing would be lost. Everything would be constant. But it's because of what was going on. I mean, let's take a look at when they came out. Fed Up With Antoine and Ghost Busted came out right after the two-part Blast of the Past episodes. Right after Blast of the Past Part 2, here was... You know, she was fed up with Antoine and ghost busted. You know, and some people say, well, what does this have to do with the continuity? Well, in that kind of scenario, it probably kind of makes sense. Sense, if you will. But it was also to kind of lighten up some things from what we had just, just saw the, week, the previous two weeks. Just my assumption. And then after The Void, you had another, you had, a, you had the second one out of the two, and this had Odd Couple Rebecca. And this, again, in my opinion, was placed the way it was to lighten the mood from what had happened before. So, or the previous week. That's just my assumption. Now, I do agree that maybe if they wanted to do these after Doomsday, kind of like some special episodes to kind of wrap things up a little bit for the second season, that would have made sense, maybe in some eyes. But again, the reason they were positioned the way they were, the reason they were positioned the way they were, was so that it could lighten up, it could kind of create a bit of a light tone, sort of a pick me up kind of tone, I guess, in their eyes from the previous week or weeks before. Kind of give you a chance to just sit back and relax and, in, in a way, maybe see the Freedom Fighters in a different kind of light. Like, in Fed Up With Antoine, we've never seen the Freedom Fighters go against anybody else but besides Robotnik. And in this one, we see them going up against a gang of hyenas. Odd, right? Uh, not odd, but different, right? And that's probably why it was done. And, you know, Ghost Busted, that basically focused... That, in a way, if you want to look from a continuity standpoint, kind of helped out the Tails situation, because Tails, as we saw during the second season, was being trained to become a freedom fighter. Then, you take a look at Odd Couple. Now you say to yourself, well, why does this have to do with anything? What does this have to do with what happened after the void? Again, it doesn't have to do any, anything without it, and if you want the honest truth, it could have been shown at the end of the se season, or it could have been shown right after the other one. In other words, one week you could have had 
fed up with that on and ghost busted, the following week you could have had Odd Couple Rebecca. But you didn't. Instead, what did we have? We had it right after the void. And again, my assumption, my speculation, my opinion is they did it to lighten the mood of the void. From what we had in the void. They had to lighten the mood a little bit. And again, it kind of showed the freedom fighters outside of the element of always, outside of the element of always fighting Robotnik. It kind of showed how they deal with other things. Like, okay, in this case, an odd couple, it shows how they deal with having to improvise when it comes to sleeping arrangements. When certain things happen, when certain accidents happen. You know? And Rebecca, well, everybody would say that's kind of a send-up to Frankenstein. Yeah, maybe it is, but it's kind of a comedic kind of one. And it, it kind of shows how, I guess, giving Antoine a taste of his own medicine, you know, he's always trying to pursue the princess. Now here's somebody else, even though it's a, uh, on, even though it's a robot, trying to pursue him. So it kind of gives him a taste of his own medicine in a comedic way. And even though some people have said, like I, I, like I mentioned, these kind of really don't, these stick out, and if you take them out, they don't, nothing would really change. That's true. Nothing would really be taken away from the entire series. But still, again, the reason for this was to kind of lighten the mood, and that's why I think they did this. I think that's why they did this. So, again, you know, that's just my thoughts on why those two shorts, Odd Couple, Rebecca, Fed Up with Antoine, and Ghostbusted were, were placed in there because of what of everything I've mentioned and also to lighten the tone. So that's why I think it was done. It's just my opinion. I really don't have a problem with them either way. You know, the only thing, like I said, I would probably change is having them both back to back. In other words, one week after another, get them out of the way and then focus on what you need to focus, like from the void to doomsday. That's what I would have done if I was in charge at the time. But you can't, you can't really do anything unless you're there, so... <laughs> uh, but again, I have no problem with it. Like I said, the only thing I would change is having the is having them kind of like week after week. In other words, like I said, fed up with that on Ghostbusted one week, and then the following week, Odd Couple Rebecca. Which, and I get, which you would have to agree would have made more sense. And then they, they could have had the main focus on the void on the episodes on episodes from the void all the way to doomsday straight forward into doomsday right after that so but uh, that's just my take on it if you want to respond down below go ahead I would appreciate it and I will talk to you all later